This video is part of the pause sequence of videos and it explains to you about communal flu systems. Communal flu systems allow more than one appliance per floor to be fitted to a common flu. These are used in high rise flats. They may be used with condensing and non condensing appliances. These systems are not to be used purely for the collection of condensate from a boiler. Only normal operational residual concentrate, that's the water that comes out of a condensing boiler or from a hot and a cold flu, should be drained by a collector at the base, at the bottom of the communal flu system. Systems can be balanced, also known as concentric. That's where you've got one flu inside another flu, where the outer flu brings the air in and the inner flu ejects the products of combustion. Or there can be twin pipe, where you've got one pipe for fresh air and the other pipe getting rid of the products of combustion. There are three main types of communal flu systems. Naturally ventilated, fan assisted, or fan assisted on the exhaust only. The way you identify whether a system is fan assisted or naturally ventilated is that you remove the bottom inspection cover. If the bottom of the inner exhaust is open with nothing on it, then it will be a naturally ventilated system. If it's sealed via a waste trap, I'll show you one of them later on, then it will be a fan assisted communal flu system. So here we'll have a, a bit of a closer look at one. This is a concentric or a balanced flu system because you've got one flu that both brings in the air and gets rid of the products of combustion which in this picture is called smoke, but it's actually products of combustion. Further down, you can see an exposure of the outer flu, the air supply, and the inner flu, the red bit, which is products of combustion removal. And then at the bottom there, you've got a drain plug and siphon. That's how you know this is a fan assisted concentric communal flu system. So familiarize yourself with this picture because this is important. Fan assisted CFSs provide combustion air to and combustion product removal via a concentric duct system under fan assisted positive pressure. There's a fan in there that drives the products of combustion out and sucks the fresh air in. Okay, now with fan assisted CFSs, 
they require a non-return valve to be fitted at the exhaust gas flue duct. Non-return valve sounds very complicated. In reality, it's simply a ball that if it feels back pressure, it will suck up and block off the flue. It's, it's as simple as that. So you take the bottom off and you look in it. And if it looks like any of these three pictures, then it's a fan assisted CFS. The picture on the right shows you a cap and a waste trap, letting you know that this is a fan assisted positive pressure system. Now the rules are that new and replacement appliances shall be of the same type and input as the current existing appliance. So if you have to change an appliance on one of these systems, you've got to replace it like for like. However, both condensing and non-condensing appliances can be fitted to the same CFS, provided the rating specification of the CFS is not exceeded, providing you're not putting anything in that's over the kilowattage that's allowed by the system. And then there's a list below that of the different flue types, the C42 and the C82, all the, the little flue types that you can actually replace any appliances with. Here's a list of communal flue systems, fan assisted. You've got shunt ducts, SE ducts and U ducts you should already know about. These are taught to you on your course. However, the CFS systems, naturally ventilated, fan assisted, exhaust only, naturally ventilated and exhaust only, fan assisted. These are all the classifications for the fluing that you would require if you were fitting or working on them. You would go and look at the classification and it will tell you what's required. All CFSs must be labeled near to the base where an engineer can find the label. And it must show the following information. That the duct supplies air to the building's gas appliances and their fluing systems in accordance with British standards. And that it must not be blocked or restricted under any circumstances. That the air supply and exhaust gas removal, the products of combustion, is all via a roof terminal and this must not be blocked, modified or interfered with in any way. So you can't interfere with the bottom or the top of these CFSs. Then it asks, says to you that for more information, you refer to whoever's responsible for the building. It tells you that non-condensing and condensing type C appliances can be fitted to this shared flue system. It will give you the supplier's identification reference so you can contact the supplier if you need parts or if you've got a query. And then it will tell you the CFS type, whether it's fan assisted, natural ventilated, or fan assisted on the exhaust only. And here's a couple of pictures of what terminals look like. These are actual photographs from the roofs of sets of flats. 
and the instructions say that you can either make them yourself, they can be manufactured, but you've got to follow all the rules, or they can be prefabricated. I don't think there's many people out there making their own CFS terminals. You would generally buy them from a supplier. Okay, that's all you need to know for your paws about communal flu systems. In your paws, you will be given a leaflet or paperwork which refers to these and will help you answer any questions that there are in the pause exam itself. I hope this has been helpful. If you have found it helpful, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you want to make a comment or you want anything solved for you, if you've got a problem and you need a video, just let me know in the comments and I'll get one made. Hope to see you soon.